our topic today um, is uh, prepare MISA plus for vegetables. Our learning objectives uh, of this topic, we are going to select the, the quality of vegetables. As you can see, we have the fresh of vegetables like uh, yellow pepper, known as bell pepper or sweet pepper. We also have red pepper. It's also bell pepper or sweet pepper and green pepper. So green pepper is a bit spicier than uh, yellow and red. Then we also have uh, cauliflower. It's fresh. We have also uh, lettuce. It's firm, it's crispy, it looks fresh, right? We also have uh, spinach. It's a fresh. That's the quality signs of vegetables. So um, we, we have avocado, we have a cucumber. We also have carrots. As you can see, our carrot is big, it's fresh, it's firm. Um, it's crisp as well. Uh, we have tomatoes. Tomatoes, it's also firm and, um, you know, fresh, you know, and it's good for salads, preparation. Um, it's also important to recognize the quantity of vegetables we are going to order. So um, we normally order quantities of vegetables that we need. Like, for example, if I have to order tomatoes for 100 people, then I don't need to order uh, tomatoes for 200 people. Or if I need to prepare a dish for three people, I don't need the, all of this. So we order required quantity. So we use vegetables for salads, we use vegetables for dishes, like accompaniments, we use vegetables for soups, we use vegetables to make stocks. So I can say vegetables can be eaten raw, cooked, or preserved. Then before we move to the washing of vegetables or cleaning our vegetables, so I would like to explain to you the use of cutting boards. So, we have color-coded cutting boards. So, um, here we have also color-coded knives. So, starting with the red cutting boards used for red meat. Broof cutting boards for fish and seafood. Yellow cutting board, we use them for poultry. Brown cutting boards with a brown knife, we use them for all cooked food. We use green cutting boards used for vegetables preparation. White cutting boards can also be used for pastry products, like cakes, like cakes, breads, or pastry and bakery products. It's very important to understand use of cutting boards to avoid cross contaminations. If you don't use uh, color coded cutting boards, so it seems if I'm cutting salad from uh, green cutting boards, then I'm using the same cutting board to cut meat, then I can contaminate the food. So for food safety, it's good to use color coded cutting boards. Then to avoid cutting boards uh, slippery, so I have to underline. Uh, with the uh, paper serviette or you can use uh, cotton uh, or torsion to, to underline your cutting boards to avoid slippery. So uh, I have my serviette here. So uh, I can weight them with the sanitizer, it's fine. Then I underline my cutting board. Mm, you see now it's firm, right? Then before I uh, start cutting vegetables, so I have to sanitize my cutting board using uh, table sanitizer. Then I clean them properly. Okay, so uh, I clean my cutting board, table sanitizer uh, reduce 
the number of uh, bacteria on working surface. So um, then before we clean our vegetables, so we have to, to, to sanitize our work press. Make sure the press is, uh, is, uh, is very clean uh, to avoid uh, bacteria to be around. Mm -hmm. You dry the sink mm -hmm. with, the, with the sanitizer and the paper cloth or uh, paper towel. So after cleaning my work press, then I have to wash my vegetables. So um, I have to move them near the sink. Then I have to wash my vegetables using running water. So the purpose of using running water is to avoid a uh, combination of vegetables and the uh, sand. Some vegetables uh, have sand with it, so it has to run. And you wash vegetable one by one to make sure it's clean. After washing my vegetables, so I have to, to put them in a container. So you can see I'm using a green container, green container. Uh, which is for green, uh, green vegetables or other type of vegetables. Um, we also use uh, color-coded containers to avoid cross-contamination. So the same way of uh, uh, using of cutting boards. So we also use color-coded containers. So uh, we have our vegetables ready. Each type of vegetable has to be in an individual container. Mm? Now, after putting my vegetables in a different container, um, I'm going to, to continue washing uh, lettuce and uh, spinach. So the purpose of washing lettuce and spinach are on it's because these vegetables they are too soft so you can't combine with the other vegetables while you, you are washing them so the other uh, point it's is that we have to wash individual uh, leaves so that we don't uh, mess up you know some of these uh, uh, vegetables you may have insect inside so the purpose of washing by individual is to make sure that there is no presence of insect inside otherwise you can mess with the customer so you can imagine if you are start eating salad and at the end you find cockroaches inside so that will be a mess and as chef we don't want to lose our face in front of customer right so uh, all our vegetables are uh, washed. Now we are going to, to cover them, uh, reboring them, then we store them.